5 Steps to Avoiding Information Overload TMI, too much information, this is something that a lot of newbies to internet marketing end up with in their search for just the right program or opportunity. Information overload, and it can happen faster than you think, some people end up out of work due to layoffs, companies closing their doors, or even medical issues may find some people at home and looking for new ways to supplement their lost income by working from home once they get all excited about the prospect of making money online they start taking in as much information as they can, and they end up getting more than they bargained for. When you start getting hundreds of offers coming in from all sides, you can get information overload fast. Eventually, some of these people pretty much just throw in the towel and quit because it's all just too overwhelming and they don't know where to start. D.O. I use this blogging platform or that one? What's the best SEO practice? How many different ways are there to do keyword research? What's an autoresponder? What's a landing page? How do I set up a sales funnel? It's just amazing how much information is out there, and when it all hits all at once, it can drive you crazy. And with some people, it's so much that they just say forget IT.S. Oh, if you're new to online marketing and you're looking for the best way to make money online, how to do avoid information overload and stop getting TMI. Here are five steps to follow to keep from burning out. 1. Focus. Take things in baby steps and stop trying to climb the whole staircase with one jump. Decide what needs to be done first, then find one method you're comfortable with and do just that one thing until it's perfected before moving on to something else. A good example is building a new blog. There are many methods for building a blog, but instead of reading tons of emails or watching scores of videos, find one method that you can understand well and block out anything else that comes at you. Point 2. Unsubscribe from email lists. Reading 15 emails about the same topic from 15 different people telling you 15 different ways to do something can be seriously overwhelming. No matter what step you're on in your process, building your blog, finding images, writing content, whatever, find one person to mentor you or one method and stay subscribed to just that one email list. Point 3. Block out the noise. Every affiliate marketer and every network marketer thinks their system or opportunity is the absolute best. While it may be the best fit for them, it may not be the best fit for you. So once you've found a program, tool, or opportunity that fits with your beliefs, lifestyle, and something you can have passion about, concentrate on that one program alone until you've made it work. Then if you want to add additional programs into your mix, you won't be sidelined on your primary objectives by starting something new. Point 4. Stop comparing yourself. Don't compare your results with the results of others in the same program or in anyone else's program, for that matter. We're all individuals. Some people are better at marketing or have different channels set up than you or I do. Some people have more ability to make monetary investments in a new business while you or I may have to stick with free methods for a while. Point 5. Keep focused and don't give up. Once you have your plan outlined and your schedule set up, stay the course and keep moving. Do something every day and you'll be successful.